you have an idea of what you want your house to look like, you go through Pinterest, you go through Instagram, you see all the pretty pictures, but you kind of have no idea how to pull it together and make your house look like that. At least that's how I feel. I'm Erin Kinzel, the host of the Charleston Women Podcast, and today's guest is going to help us out. She's been spending years as an interior designer, and we're looking at things from modern farmhouse to boho and everything in between. She can help. This is Charleston Women Podcast, where you can meet like-minded, strong, independent, professional, and inspiring local women. This is Charleston Women Podcast. I would like to welcome today's guest. It is Debbie DeLong from Designs by Imagine That. Debbie, thank you so much for joining us on the Charleston Women Podcast. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me on. Yes, you know, this is interesting because it's a podcast and we're talking, most people are going to be listening to us, but you work obviously in a visual medium as a designer. So I just want to encourage people right off the bat, give us your Instagram handle because people listening to this, I want them to go and find you and kind of get a feel for your aesthetic. Um, My Instagram, it's just designs by Imagine That. You can find me that way. Perfect. And you do beautiful stuff. So everyone needs to go and check you out and see what you're up to. Um, Let's just talk about your business. You know, how long have you been doing this? I have been doing it for 10 years. Um, I was, believe it or not, in um, a dental assistant for years. And, oh, about 10 years ago, I decided to jump ship and do what I really, really went to school for. Yeah. So was this something that you have always loved ever since you were a little girl? You were kind of the kid that was arranging rooms or picking the right color for things. Yes, actually. Yes. So very much so. Um, I I would always redo my bedroom. I would remember, um, (laughs) you know, my mom had friends who were in design. And so they give me their um, fabrics. And so, yes, I was always doing something different to my room, um, different to my Barbie doll house. I was, <laughs> I was always the one that had fabric and pillows. I would like so little pillows. So you yes, meant, something you I've meant to wanted. do this. So in pillows for your <laughs> Barbie house. I love that. Now people are paying you to, you know, pick the right pillows for their homes. Um, let's just talk about your aesthetic, because I said, you know, if people have pulled up your Instagram page, they can see, get a feel of, you know, what you do. But I know here you say modern farmhouse to boho, coastal, you know, everything in between. What would you say if you had to pick one? Can you do that? Um, yes. Um, modern farmhouse. I really, okay. really like to do that. And then we're on the coast. So yeah. we, um, we designed by the landscape. Mm-hmm. So we have all these gorgeous colors from the beach to the sands, to the teal. So, you know, we have all the historic Charleston, the, the pinks. And so that makes it fun. That makes it fun. What is really popular right now? Because I know a lot of people, I think we talked about it before, a lot of people are are moving to Charleston from up north and they have like the thick and heavy furniture or darker aesthetic and they get here, right? And they're like, I just want light and bright and white and coastal. So is that what's in right now or is that just what people in Charleston want? No, actually that's in, that's in right now. Blues um, will forever be here. They'll, they sometimes they'll change um, the highlight of it or, but Navy's always in, blues are always in, but yes, people from up north want to bring in that deep, um, oh, emerald, almost a black green. They want to bring that in or they'll want to bring in deep reds. Now downtown Charleston, sometimes we do have some, um, of those deep colors, but not so much in your, you know, your residential, your, um, you know, uh, your day to day. We don't normally see sure. those dark, dark colors. Yeah. Yes. Everyone wants the light and bright, at least for their home aesthetic. I, I like how you, you say here that you bring out the personality of people living in the house. So just kind of walk me through the process of how you kind of squeeze out the personality of someone when you first meet a client and then how you might infuse that into the project. I actually, I will, um, I listen to them a lot. We sit down, we talk, we, I go into their home. Um, I have them show me pictures. Um, of what they like and what colors they don't like, what colors they hate, what colors they love, what they, what they want to see. And just talking to them, I can tell um, which way, which direction. And then um, 
just help them help them make it happen, you know, mm-hmm. um, basically, but just to get to know them, get to know their personality, um, what, what they like and what they don't like. Be part of the conversation surrounding Mount Pleasant. Sponsor the Mount Pleasant Podcast. Podcast marketing is the new powerful way to brand your business and reach your customers. For more information, visit carolinapodcasts.com or call 843-345-7012. You're listening to the Charleston Women Podcast. I have a lot of kids. We've got four kids. And sometimes I feel like we can't have nice things because we have four kids. But I'm sure you would take a different, you know, stance on that. Like maybe you just have, like, we've got four girls. So if you were to come in my home, would you add pink or fun and colorful things? Like give me an example. Um, it depends on you too. You sure, and yeah. your husband as well. It depends on you guys. Um, um, and if the girls want pink, um, I, you know, would incorporate that. Just depends on if you, if, if that's what direction you want to go. I grew up in a house of three girls. Um, so my dad was... <laughs> My dad took the back seat. We we sort of, and then I have three boys, which um, was a whole different ball game. But I still was able to make it happen and and still be comfortable and still be stylish and trendy. Yes, you did it with all those boys. Um, I want to say, if you're just joining us right now, you're listening to the Charleston Women Podcast with Debbie DeLong from Designs by Imagine That. Debbie, you have, um, I know you have all kinds of projects, but is there one that was your favorite or maybe your most inspiring project? My most inspiring um, was not too long ago, um, this couple, they were so delightful. And so the husband was real involved with it. And um, so I was, I would take him every step of the way. So after a while, he's like, okay, Deb, just forget it. Don't contact me anymore. Just, um, you know, the colors we want, we, you know, everything we want to do. So I tell you what, when we get in the house, we'll see it. So then what was awesome with them was um, their house was supposed to close like August, October. And I, and I told my husband, I said, you watch, it'll close in December. And um, cause you know, that's just how things go. So we, um, it closed three days before Christmas. Wow. So my client calls me and he says, look, I know it's before Christmas. I know you guys are probably like shutting down. Um, is there any way you can put anything in this house, you know, for my wife for Christmas? Just so I looked at my oldest son and my husband and I said, are y'all game? I mean, would this be an awesome Christmas present for them is like to get the majority. Cause I mean, I mean, I already had everything, the bedding, oh, the wow. lamp, the rugs, the this. Yes, it was like, yeah. this is probably over a five-month period as the house was being built. Right. The only thing is, is to get the furniture companies to bring the big things. But it happened. We did it. Um, wow. We got the most of it in there, and and they were just – and, it, you know, it, it put joy in our hearts. My son was like, wow, Mom, you know, that That's really cool. yeah, made a difference. Yeah. In somebody's life. Yeah. So bringing somebody to have somebody's happiness. I'm all about that. Right. Um, and you obviously are very good at what you do because you have recently won a big award. Tell us more about that. Yes. Oh, gosh. I was so surprised with this. Um, the Charleston Home Design Magazine had nominated me for um, to be one of the 10 best um, master bathrooms. And so um, I had just finished one not too long prior and um, they nominated me. And so where people could go on their website and, and vote for. Um, so it was real. My kids are real involved with me. So they would text me and they would say, oh, my gosh, mom, you're on the second page. And then <laughs> three days later, they'd say, mom, you're on the first page, mom. And so then um, then they tell, you know, they said, mom, I think you're you're second. I think you're coming in second. And so it was fun for us to see that. And I was just. Got so humble, so excited when um, I got the call and said that we that I made um, in the top ten best best um, bathrooms for Charleston Home and Design. So that um, put a, a huge smile on my face. Mm, it was yes, very much so. Very you surprised, proud, and I know your family is already proud of you. That's incredible. How do we? Um, well, I have a couple more questions. First of all, how how does one go about working with you? You know, do you, you have to have a certain budget or do you work with all kinds of budgets, different scales of projects? 
Um, I work with all different scales, different budgets, different, right. You tell me what you, um, what you're planning on spending, what your budget is, what, what you actually want to um, accomplish, whether it's a room or a, the, the entire house or a corner. Um, so that, yes. So I'll do um, pretty much anything. Yes. To um, bring their space to what they right. would like. They can to. come to you and say, I'm thinking about doing this and you can make it work. Do you have yes. any tips for us? I know when I talk to designers, you talk about, yeah, I don't know, picking a focal point, layering things, but, you know, I, I've heard it all and I'm still terrible at it. So, you know, what is one design tip or a couple design tips that you could give our listeners to help us all out for those of us who aren't skilled like you? It, it's, it could be any number of things. So yeah. say someone calls me and they said, you know, I, um, my husband bought this painting for me and I love it. And I just want you to incorporate everything in this room yeah. that would go. And so sometimes it'll be from a painting or um, it'll just be something in the room, something, you know, it could be the rug. It could be, mm-hmm. you know, they, in the design world, they tell you, you know, oh, you have to have a rug first and design around it. Nine times out of 10, I don't. Nine times out of 10, <laughs> I go against the grain. Usually the rug's the last. I mean, I want, yeah. I want to pull, you know, the pillows to this, to that, and then that rug comes in. But yeah, um, if you've got something you really, really like, usually I'll go, Go, go with that. Say, you know, it's a color and a pillow, then go around that or um, a painting you might have, or that's kind of how I do it. Yeah. I don't know so if that, what I hear you say <laughs> sometimes you, you'll take inspiration from one thing and then create everything around that. Yes. Which is cool. Yeah. I have a question for you. How, do you have any tips on how to style your coffee table? Because, you know, on Instagram, they look so pretty. And mine is just covered with like kids stuff. And as hard as I try, it never looks like the photos. <laughs> and I never oh. know if I should have like the coffee table book or, you know, one, I call them tchotchkes, but, you know, like design piece or a candle or flowers, like any tips on how to, you know, spruce up a coffee table. So normally what I do is I normally I'll find a tray, some sort of a tray around. Okay. It depends on the coffee table. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll get a round tray. Sometimes I'll get a square tray and then I'll pull out whatever colors you have in your home. Um, and then I'll get a couple of books and I'll put a, you know, a floral piece there or a, it might be something you really like. Your grandmother gave you some sort of a canister of some sort and it's gorgeous. And we want to figure out how to um, or like you've got the girl. So you don't want anything that's going to, um, you know, if they knock it over or something. So, right. yeah. No. So I'll just I, you kind of put three things in there. You don't want it too full. You don't want it. To so you know, I'll just do a tray, maybe a couple of books, stick a little floral thing, or um, and then maybe a candle, or you know, those little glass beads or something, or wooden beads, Mm -hmm. and then just kind of keep it simple. I love it. So I'm hearing get a tray, keep it simple, three items, no more. That's how it will look good. Do you have any insider tips? Is there anywhere that you love to shop, maybe where you find? good deals, or maybe you like to find your pillows somewhere, you know, I'm trying to get all the nuggets from you. <laughs> so I love to go to GDC. They okay. are amazing. Um, uh, their pillows, they're great. Um, uh, a lot of times I'll have pillows made. I'll go for right. fabric. And, and if, if we can't find any that are already made, um, I love Stephen shell. His furnishings are great. Yeah. You can anything, anything you're doing now. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are probably my two go-to yeah. places. I really, really um, can find just about anything. Right. And does every home need a bar cart? Because I feel like I've seen you. Didn't you bring one when I saw you last yeah. time? You love the I, I need a bar cart. Is that kind of what's bar. in right now? The, the cute bar cart in the corner of the kitchen or dining room or family room, wherever it is. Yes. Yes. Those are really in right now. And they're fun too. They're, yeah. they're a lot of fun. So you can put a lot of color on there and then that's your just little go-to thing. We have your little canister and your little glasses and yeah. uh, your, your pretty napkins. And yeah, I love it. Those Debbie, are fun. It has been so fun talking to you again for our listeners say, you know, the best of your website, your social media, how do they go about finding you and following you? Um, just, it, you can, um, you can go on Instagram or Facebook. Um, it designs by imagine that when you pull that up, it'll, it has, um, 
everything about me. You can, you'll be able to find me. All right, Debbie, thank you again for your time. You have been listening to the Charleston Women Podcast, and this is Debbie DeLong with Designs by Imagine That. And I'm your host, Erin Kinzel. Remember to subscribe to our podcast, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for spending time with Charleston Women Podcast. Please like us and follow us on whatever platform you're using to access Charleston Women Podcast.